Wildlife biologist tracking and rediscovering animals on the verge of extinction. Oh my God! I've noticed a pattern oh of God. mysterious oh sightings and human wildlife conflicts. Look, there's an elephant. There's an elephant right there. Which often turn deadly. Now, my team Despite everything we know about animals around the world, there are still remote ecosystems that biologists continue to discover and fascinating facts about species that are now extinct. Mysterious Creatures with Forrest Galante is currently streaming on Discovery Plus, and he joins us this morning. Good morning. Morning, guys. How are you? Good, good to have you with us. Let's take a look at our first mysterious animal. Let's take a look at the video. What do we have? Well, I think first we're going to talk about the relocation of, what was it, 13 animal elephants in Mozambique? Yeah, that was uh, an incredibly challenging task. As a wildlife biologist, I have had, you know, all kinds of amazing tasks um, trying to bring animals back from extinction, combat human, or combat human wildlife conflict, and this was by far the largest undertaking. When we got there, we knew there were some elephants that had been causing problems, but had no idea that we were going to have to undertake the largest elephant translocation within Mozambique's history. Honestly, it was incredibly difficult. And why did they have to be relocated? Uh, these elephants were living outside of any national parks and they were tearing through a local village. They oh. had actually killed a woman, they killed some children, oh, uh, and they were just in constant human wildlife conflict uh, competing for resources. And so, you know, on the show, you can see one of the elephants has a snare wound, the other has a bullet hole in it. It was just an ongoing conflict that the elephants had no shot of winning oh. in the long run. All right, tell us the first mysterious creature on our list is the Ozark Howler. What, what is this? Yeah, well, you know, I'm not very big into cryptids, Larry, but uh, I always believed that there was something to do with a real animal founded in uh, this lore and mystery in the Ozarks. And sure enough, on this investigation that, that took place, what we found was that the timeline for the Ozark Howler stories, as well as the howling and everything else, lined up perfectly with the ecology of the North American red wolf. And so... It is my strong belief that the Ozark Howler is actually a misidentified, incredible creature, the stunning red wolf, which no longer exists in the hmm. Ozarks. Okay. okay. And so you, you investigate a lot of these myths and, and local legends, and so there's also one in the Pacific Northwest. It's almost like a dragon or something you're looking for. Again, I feel like these creatures that are very real often get these mythical dispositions. Yeah. And so what happened here, in my opinion, is as all of the incredible waterways of the Pacific Northwest got dammed, what we saw was a change in behavior from a true dinosaur, an actual dragon-like creature that you can see on screen there, which is the white sturgeon, a fish that grows 20 feet long and has armored scales and a big head and just an incredible creature. And so, again, after a thorough investigation, it's my belief that people seeing these dragons and monsters and demons are actually seeing these huge fish that are trapped in lakes where they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be moving into the ocean and back into fresh water. And you can see the dams there. They're coming up to the surface and rolling and they're changing the behavior. And if you see that, it looks like a monster. Mm. What is mis mysterious about a water snake in Brazil? Uh, well, there are rumors from down there uh, of these gigantic anacondas reaching 50 feet in length. And like all reptiles, snakes grow until they die. And so by going down there, what we did was actually take data and analytics and DNA to figure out whether or not these snakes could reach proportions of 50 feet. Now, we just happened to capture a snake that was close to 20 feet long, which is basically as large as anacondas get. Wow. And as you can imagine, it was, it was quite the tug of war. And you said there's also been some attacks in the Andes Mountains that you investigate? Yeah, that was an interesting one because going into that, we had no foundational knowledge of what the creature could actually be. We just assumed that maybe there was a mountain lion or a puma, as they call it down there, attacking livestock. But when we got there, we found out that none of the livestock had actually been attacked and just basically been harassed. And what we did find was this incredibly unique, the only remaining species of short-faced bear in the world and uh, the spectacle bear. And um, unfortunately, once again, it was a human in a human wildlife conflict zone. So we had to tranquilize and translocate that bear for its own safety and the safety of the people around it. All right. Another very difficult job. Before, <laughs> before we let you go, uh, Bigfoot, is that a real thing? You gonna check that out or no? Is that for that, somebody that, else? 
that one's up for me, Robin. That one, uh, <laughs> that's, that's for somebody else. I like to deal with animals that are, are very well known. Gotcha. All right. Good to know. For more, you can check out his website and social media. Mysterious Creatures is on Discovery+. Plus. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.